Time to feed the trolls. Oh, fuck. Oh, hey guys, it's me, Cute Fuzzy Weasel, and welcome to Feeding the Trolls. You gotta excuse me for a moment, we're getting a little bit of water damage down here. Yes, even right next to hell, I'm having to deal with the problems of global warming. Hey, remember when I said that the next troll wasn't gonna be political? Well, that episode was a joke on the Mandela effect, so I never said that. We're in a totally different universe. And to be clear, I don't consider global warming to be a political issue because it's a fact. But because we live in a world where climate change, social media, vaccines, the shape of the earth, cooking, yes, look it up, cooking, evolutionary biology, homeowning, basic facts about history, and even whether or not you drink coffee in the morning is now a political issue, I'm not sure I can even avoid the topic. I would not be surprised if there is someone out there on the internet that ascribes your favorite color to what kind of politics you're aligned to. Oh, and my guy, if you're watching this video, my favorite color's orange. Uh, so post in the comments what that means about me politically, because I'm, I'm curious about it, but I don't want to Google it because I don't want to be depressed. So anyway, this is... Fuck, I actually did forget what they're called. One sec, one sec, I did, actually. No, my bad, uh, okay, all right, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm sorry, I, sometimes I actually do forget the names of these people. Anyway, this is What Would You Say About Global Warming, part one. You're in a conversation and someone says, we have to do everything we can to stop climate change. What would you say? I'd say at this point, piecemeal solutions aren't going to work. We can't stop global warming right now without seriously rethinking our strategy. It might sound a little ridiculous, but at this point, solar mirrors might actually be necessary. From the Global Paris Climate Accord to demands that we all buy LED light bulbs. Oh no! Not LED light bulbs! You mean those things that cost significantly less than traditional light bulbs to manufacture, aren't made with mercury, can last up to 10 times longer than your standard light bulb, and take significantly less electricity to run? My god, that's just an unreasonable demand to adopt those widespread. I think we gotta put the kibosh on that regulation. Concerns about climate change have shaped government policies and personal choices alike. Not by nearly enough. And we should care about the environment. After all, animals, plants, and human beings all need clean water and clean air to flourish. Of course, what I consider clean and what you consider clean might be completely different. Spoilers, they are. Today, however, many equate caring for the environment with panic about climate change. That's because there's lots to panic about. The worry is not just that the climate is changing, but that we're on the precipice of a human-caused disaster. Okay, well, let's not kid ourselves. We're not on the precipice of a human-caused disaster. We're in the middle of a human-caused disaster. I'm sorry, lady, but this video came out in 2020. Were you not fucking paying attention to what was going on? But hey, you know what they say about hindsight? It melted in California like the fucking road. The basic argument goes like this. Over the last century, because of modern industry, more and more carbon dioxide has been added to the atmosphere. Because carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas, temperatures across the globe have risen. Correct. This is gonna be one of the few correct things they say. Rising temperatures will be catastrophic for life and the planet, so we must act now to limit the greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, that cause the Earth's warming. I don't mean to freak anybody out here, but limiting at this point might not even cut it. We might actually have to start dumping money into mass carbon capture technologies. I'm not even joking. And it's not just carbon dioxide. I mean, that's the biggest problem by volume, but an even more powerful greenhouse gas is methane, which... Yeah, we're gonna have to start limiting methane too, which means we're gonna have to cut down on meat. 
And again, I know some of you are like, come on, man, we can't yet. That's, ex dude, no, we, we're, yes, we might have to do that. And the thing is, what's, what's really frustrating about this is that it didn't have to be this way. We had, since 1970, warnings that this was happening. Now, thankfully, there's a lot of moneyed interest in green technology, but that might be too little too late. Our problem right now isn't that we have to real quick stop carbon emissions. We're past that point. It's about adapting. And it's gonna get worse. Really, really worse. To really understand the climate change debate. Which, and let me be clear about this, is not a debate. There is no debate. It's real. It's only a debate because people politicized it, which might kill millions of people. We must first understand the situation we're facing right now. Only then can we understand the possible solutions. Here are two questions that can help us understand what's going on with climate change. Oh, oh look at that chart. Oh, we're gonna have fun with that chart, trust me. First, is the earth warming? The answer is yes. Most scientists agree that the Earth is in a warming trend that started around 1850. Which coincidentally is right around the time the Industrial Revolution started ramping shit up, but hey, that's, that, hey, that, that could, that's natural, man, that could have been anything, man, come on. But warming trends like this one are not unusual. Yes, warming trends are not unusual. Trends, things that take place over hundreds and hundreds of years are not unusual. Our problem is not that we're rising by a couple of percentages of a degree in the space of, let's say, five or 600 years. Our problem is that we're rising by several degrees over the course of decades. If you're talking about a long stretch of time, natural systems can compensate for that. But we're not giving nature a chance. We're just kind of like, hey, boom. There's some fire, y'all! During the medieval warming period, which was from about AD 925 to 1250, just taking their own numbers into account, which, spoiler alert, might not be that accurate, that's an entire warming trend from start to peak to cool over the course of 325 years. That's not what we're seeing. Global temperatures were higher than they are now, even though humans couldn't have caused it. First of all, the medieval warming period was not a global event. In fact, evidence suggests that while certain parts of the Northern Hemisphere were warmer than today, there were other parts of the globe that were actually colder. Second, no the fuck it wasn't warmer then than it was today. Yeah, maybe in one or two spots, but when you compare global temperatures then to global temperatures now, what the fuck are you even talking about? It's also warmer during the Roman climate optimum from about 250 BC to 400 AD. The Roman climate optimum from start to finish lasted approximately 150 years and affected Europe. And during the Holocene climate optimum that ended 5,000 years ago. Okay, so the Holocene climate optimum actually did raise global temperatures higher than they are today over the course of several thousand years. Cave people didn't just wake up to 104 degree temperatures. The peak occurred almost 2,000 years after it started, which is again, not what we're seeing. If this was an increase of four degrees over the course of 10,000 years, there wouldn't be that big of a problem. I mean, yeah, you would still see some extinctions because even 10,000 years is kind of a blink in the eye, biologically speaking. But we're potentially seeing a rise of four degrees over the course of 80 years. You can't make the argument that the glacial pace of a warming period that happened thousands of years ago and the occasional couple of degree spikes that happened in Europe can possibly equate to the massive increase in temperature that we're seeing on a global average over the course of just a century. They are not equivalent. There have also been periods of global cooling, like the little ice age that followed the medieval warming period. Which also, from start to finish, lasted about 300 years and was probably caused by solar activity. 
which is not the same as what we're seeing today. While no scientist disputes that the Earth's average temperature rises and falls naturally over time, the fear over climate change today is that our current warming trend is unnatural and not part of the Earth's natural rhythm. Because it isn't. God, you know, the video that I'm doing right now is only five minutes long, but I feel like the resultant episode's gonna go on for like a fucking hour. This leads to the second question. Are we causing the current warming trend by adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere? Yes. Also, plastics are changing the albedo of the ocean, so there's that too. It's hard to say. No, it really isn't. Human activity does contribute to carbon dioxide levels, but the real question is how sensitive is the climate to that? Well, considering everything that's going on in the environment right now, seems kind of sensitive to it. After all, the warming trend we're in right now began in 1850, before the recent increase in industrial activity. A conservative estimate for the start of the Industrial Revolution puts it between 1760 and 1840, so... Back then, our CO2 contributions were trivial. And if they had kept at those levels, then yeah, maybe this wouldn't be an issue, but you see, society rapidly expanded after 1850, and over the course of 100 years, pretty much every country on Earth industrialized. And wouldn't you look at that, even on your stupid graph between those two date ranges, oh shit, it's trending up! I wonder why! And in the last few decades when they have increased, there's been very little net warming. And you can tell that there's been very little net warming because we don't even show you the numbers! Now, what numbers should be there? 1.96 degrees, give or take 0.4 degrees. That's a sustained global average. That is fucking huge. By itself, carbon dioxide can only warm the Earth's atmosphere so much. Which is why there are other greenhouse gases that we coincidentally also produce through industrialization, such as CFCs and methane. In fact, each extra bit of the gas will warm the atmosphere less than the previous bit. That's because global temperature rise takes time. It's not like if you look at the data on a graph, both sides are equidistantly measured regardless. So if you increase CO2, the temperature goes up immediately. It takes it takes a little bit of time for that to happen, but it does happen. And unfortunately, once it's up, it takes a little while to go down too, which would be fine if we were limiting CO2, but we're not. We're adding to it, along with other greenhouse gases. And I just love how deceptive the charts you're using are. This is what it actually looks like. This should be fucking terrifying, but no, 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 that's, that's just, it's, don't, don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry, look, God will end the world on his own time, not with man's time. So while the worry, the concern is that so-called positive feedbacks will cause a chain-like reaction, magnifying the warming trends. This in turn would lead to a more severe climate. That's because it is, and that's not the only feedback loop we've got going on. Global warming is currently melting permafrost in Siberia and in the Yukon, causing the release of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tons of trapped methane, along with fucking mercury. But hey, I mean, it's a natural cycle. It's not, don't worry, don't worry about it. Stop worrying. Look, 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 look. If you buy less oil products, then I get less money. And what's more important? A potential global starvation event in 40 years or profit? I think we both know what God wants. Also, if you're gay, go to conversion therapy. That's another video of theirs. We'll get to that. While many of the computer models assume that most or all of the climate feedbacks will do this, no one actually knows. But we do. That's the thing, we do. We've known for a long time. It's not our fault if you're fucking ignorant at this point. Some feedbacks may actually dampen the warming effects of carbon dioxide. Okay, I looked and I couldn't find one. And this video doesn't bother citing any sources. So it's my word against theirs at that point. Okay, I was wrong. The description does contain one resource, a single story from the Heartland Institute from 2007. And it should say a lot that I, 
as a Z-list YouTuber, did more research in about three minutes than these people did for their entire video. This is the subject of ongoing research and debate. So the next time you're in a conversation about climate change, remember to look for clarity on the current situation by asking these two questions. Or better yet, next time you're in a discussion about climate change, actually do actual research. Anyway, at that point, the video just restates the questions again as if we didn't just see them. They also tease a part two to this video, wherein they go into detail on why, hey, Maybe climate change ain't such a bad thing. Seriously. Anyway, if you like this video, comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and hey, if you really like what I do, you can become a patron for just a dollar, like these people, who, in hindsight, I might actually start reading out their names. You know, I'll, okay, I'll put that in a poll on my Patreon if you want me to actually read out your names. I mean, it'll... It, it's another, it's a personal touch, but I mean, it'll, it'll, okay, it'll add a lot of time to the video because there's a lot of you, but if you want me to do that, I know I've been kind of iffy on Patreon rewards. That's my bad. I mean, that's, that's my bad. So it, if you, if you want to do that instead, I mean, not instead, obviously you'll be getting them. I'm just saying like, if you want to do that as well, you know, I, I'm open to it. And as always, have a good day.